today we will talk about the law of segregation and chromosomal basis of law of segregation we know that what is law of segregation law of segregation is that at the time of gamete formation the two alleles of a gene separate at the time of gamete formation so we have this chromosomal basis of law of segregation we know that if for example these are two alleles of the same gene on a homologous chromosome these are two homologous chromosomes for example these are two alleles it is a homozygous condition this law of segregation state is that the two alleles of the same gene they segregate at the time of gamete formation that means one allele will go to one gamete another allele will go to another gamete they will segregate this shows segregation this shows segregation so this is law of segregation so separation of this is separation of alleles of same gene at the time of at the time of gamete formation at the time of gamete formation same is the case these are homologous chromosomes <coughs> same is the case it is homozygous condition will take for example same is the case here if there is heterozygous condition For example, we have capital A, small a. These two alleles of the same gene, they will also segregate. This arrow means that they will separate. Two alleles of the same gene, they separate at the time of gamete formation. So this is what is called as law of segregation. The chromosomal basis of law of segregation. So for example, we have will explain by means of a law we have parental combination we have parental generation we have parental generation parental generation suppose we have parental generation we have parental generation tall pea plant plant and dwarf plant these are two contrasting traits of pea plant dwarf pea plant this is their phenotype now what will be the genotype genotype would be like this this is tall pea plant this is pure tall that means each character is controlled by two alleles occupying the same locus on the two homologous chromosomes. These are two homologous chromosomes. Same is the case we have here. These are two homologous chromosomes, and this is homozygous condition. Small t, small t, pro tall p plant. <laughs> then we have this is the genotype genotype we can see that this is the genotype now we'll make the gametes gametes that is meiosis law of segregation will operate here 
law of segregation law of segregation will operate here one that means how many gametes these two alleles they will separate and they will go to different gametes this is one gamete this is another gamete same is the case we have here this is another one allele this is another allele they have separated at the time of gamete formation this is one allele this is another allele they have separated at the time of gamete formation these are the two alleles of the same gene this is what is called as law of segregation then we will get the f1 generation obviously f1 generation is we will get So we have capital T small t. This is F1 generation. So this is obviously tall P plant because tall is dominant character over the dwarf, but it is heterozygous. What is hybrid? And this is a pure. This is pure two homozygous two homozygous that means two similar alleles this is f1 generation then we will go for the selfing f1 individuals are crossed with f1 individuals f1 individuals are crossed with f1 individuals so we have this condition here f1 individuals are crossed with F1 individuals. So this is F1 individual. This is one F1 individual. And it is crossed with another F1 individual. This is another F1 individual. We have crossed them. then gametes 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 gamete formation meiosis so we have this individual will form gametes it will be like this it will be like this so the two alleles of the same gene they will separate at the time of gamete formation this is what is called as law of segregation the two alleles of the same gene have separated at the time of gamete formation same is the case we have here these gametes gametes so this is capital T small t the gametes the two alleles of a gene have separated at the time of gamete formation these are gametes now we'll go for the F2 generation now F2 generation F2 generation will have male gametes this is female gamete these are gametes male gamete and female gamete so we have gametes capital T this is small t same is the case here gamete capital T and gamete another gamete small t then we'll go for the F2 generation. This is and this is F2 individual. So T and T 
that means this gamete will fuse with this gamete will get this kind of genotype in an individual this gamete will fuse with this gamete so this gamete will fuse with this gamete and we will get will get this individual this type of individual having this genotype in the F2 generation so this is tall this is tall tall this is pure and this is hybrid having two dissimilar alleles for the gene that is why it is hybrid or heterozygous same is the case these two gametes will fuse So these two gametes will fuse. This is the genotype, genetic constitution. What is the phenotype? It is tall, but it is hybrid tall because two dissimilar alleles of the same gene. Then we have another individual having this gamete will fuse with this gamete and result in the formation of an individual having genotype this. So we have small t, small t. And this is this individual is dwarf. This is individual is dwarf. Now we'll calculate a phenotypic ratio. Phenotypic ratio simply that how many are there tall, how many are dwarf. Then how many tall we have one, two, three. Tall is two. And dwarf, we have 3 is to 1. This is phenotypic ratio. What would what is genotypic ratio? Genotypic ratio, we have to take the genetic constitution of the individuals. So we'll take genotype. We'll take genotype. This is one genotype. This is second genotype, capital T, small t, another genotype, small t, small t. So how many are tall here, capital T, capital T pure, capital T, that is one. How many have, how many individuals have genotype, capital T, small t, this is one. And this is two, they are hybrid or heterozygous, so two and one, this is homozygous, divorce. So this is what is called as This is what is called a genotypic ratio in case of law of segregation. This uh, law of segregation, as I told you, that this is explained by means of a monohybrid cross. That is why we get the ratios 3 to 1 in case of monohybrid cross, and also genotypic ratio 1 is 2 is to 1. This was the chromosomal base of law of segregation. This uh, then there is another law that is law of independent assortment. There is a difference between law of segregation and law of independent assortment, or we can say that what is the parallelism between law of segregation and law of independent assortment? That is this uh, law of segregation. This is <clears throat> parallelism between law of segregation and law of independent assortment. This uh, law of segregation, it deals with one pair of alleles of the same gene or two alleles of the same gene. It deals with two alleles. It deals with two alleles of the same gene. Law of segregation, it deals with two alleles of the same gene. That means it involves only one gene. It has two alleles and they segregate at the time of gamete formation. This law of independent assortment, it deals with two genes. It deals with two different genes. That means 
this law deals with two allelic pair, two pair of alleles, two pair of alleles, alleles of two genes. So the main difference it deals with uh, this uh, law of segregation it deals with the two alleles of one gene and law of independent assortment it deals with two genes that means it deals with two pair of alleles of two different genes it cons this uh, law of segregation says that the two alleles of the same gene segregate at the time of gamete formation and law of independent assortment says that two genes assort independently of each other at the time of gamete formation or one pair of allele assorts independently of the other pair of the allele at the time of gamete formation when they are combined in an individual. So oh, this was the chromosomal basis of the law of segregation. Thanks.